freestyle skiing is one of the fastest growing winter sports. First introduced as an Olympic medal event in Albertville in 1992, the addition of the extreme slope style and half-pipe disciplines for the 2014 Sochi Games has generated a huge buzz around the sport. Transworld Sport recently travelled to Fredericksburg in Sweden to meet up with one of freestyle skiing's biggest stars. 23-year-old Henrik Harlow is a double X Games gold medalist and one of those helping to expand his sport's appeal. It's such a fun sport to be a part of. There's always something new for you to do every day. Whether it be trying out a new mountain or attempting a new trick, it always gives you fresh and exciting challenges. It's also great to be out there skiing with your friends. And I'm so lucky that I have the chance to do what I love the most. Born in Stockholm, Henrik was just two years old when he began skiing. Age nine, he and his family moved north to Åre, one of Sweden's leading ski resorts. It was there that the young Henrik was first introduced to the world of freestyle. Despite being a keen ice hockey player at the time, Henrik knew he had found his calling. My life revolves around skiing. I'm constantly thinking of it when I'm not on the snow, and I spend around 300 days a year skiing. I've dedicated so much of my time to this sport because I get such great enjoyment out of it. And I want to spend as much time as possible practicing so that I can become an even better skier and have even more fun with it. When we caught up with Henrik, he was appearing as a guest coach at a youth activity centre in Sweden called Snow Camp. The camp is helping to develop the next generation of snow sports enthusiasts, but the laid-back atmosphere also attracts professional athletes like Henrik for their summer training. Andreas Larsson is the camp's co-owner. We are delighted to have him here. He's a fantastic person and an incredible athlete. The kids get a bit starstruck when they see him and just stand watching him. They tend to be a bit shy at first, but they come up to him asking for autographs. They want to jump with him too. Henrik competes in both the slope style and big air disciplines of freestyle skiing. Slope style sees competitors take on a downhill course of obstacles such as rails and jumps while trying to perform the most difficult and varied tricks. Big air, meanwhile, requires riders to perform the best single trick while obtaining maximum height and distance. It's the best feeling ever when you actually succeed with a trick, especially on your first attempt at it. If you've constantly been thinking of trying it, but you've been a little bit scared to really commit and go for it, then pulling it off is just pure happiness. I think it's the same with any aim or goal that you've been preparing for or thinking about and that you desperately want to achieve. When you finally do manage to accomplish it, that's such a fantastic moment. It really is indescribable. Henrik's popularity has surged in recent years as he has made an impact on the biggest stages. At the 2013 Winter X Games in Aspen, Colorado, he took gold in the big air competition and silver in slope style. This year he defended his big air title in January before competing in Sochi a month later as slope style made its inaugural Winter Olympics appearance. Despite being one of the pre-games favourites, Henrik missed out on a medal, finishing sixth. But his long, dreadlocked hair, baggy clothes and easygoing personality appealed to the watching public. Gabriel Peterson is a fellow guest coach at Snow Camp. He's a big name now, really big. It's not only skiers who know who he is. He has his own style, and that separates him from the crowd. He's not like everyone else. He goes against the flow, and I guess that's what people really like. Like many winter extreme sports, slopestyle has traditionally been dominated by athletes from the United States. 
The last five Winter X Games men's slope-style golds have all been won by Americans, and the three male medalists from Sochi were also from the US. Sweden lacks such a distinguished history in the sport, but Henrik's success is helping to encourage more youngsters in his country to move away from traditional disciplines such as cross-country skiing and explore the likes of freestyle instead. It's increasing in popularity, both with teenagers and adults. Henrik has become very popular since the Olympics, as the media focused on him, and even older men and women find him interesting. But mainly, it inspires youngsters to try this type of sport. I remember when I was a kid, going to competitions and seeing all my favourite sportsmen competing. Now I'm an athlete, I always try to keep in my mind the way I felt when I would run up to my idols and how I would have wanted them to act towards me. That's the way I try to act with the kids coming up to me today. I feel honoured to have fans. And I always try to take the time to say hi and make sure I talk to them, because I know that's what I would have wanted as a child. Henrik's style has undoubtedly had an impact on his following, but no one could accuse him of lacking a great deal of substance to go with it. Known for his pioneering approach to his sport, 5'5'' five inch Henrik is constantly pushing the boundaries of freestyle, devising and landing incredibly complex tricks, such as the unprecedented nose butter triple cork that helped him secure his first X Games gold last year. It's incredible how much you can learn from him. One of the things I've picked up is to always think a bit differently. And not only to think about skiing, but to combine it with other sports, such as inline, snowboard and skateboard. Also, it's important to maintain a positive attitude, because how often do you see Henrik sad? He's always really happy, and that's what makes him really unique. While Henrik has experienced plenty of success in his career so far, there's still much for him to achieve in freestyle. The absence of a major slopestyle gold medal from his CV is something he will look to address when the Winter X Games return for their 19th edition next January. Another appearance on the Olympic stage in Pyeongchang in four years' time is also an ambition. But for this laid-back star of freestyle skiing, the quest for medals and accolades aren't the only motivation. You really have to enjoy this sport if you want to be a success in it. It's so free and open. And I think that if you aren't having fun when you're practicing and performing, then you might grow tired of it and lose interest. So I always try to have as much fun as possible when I'm skiing. It's difficult to reach a really high level in this type of sport, if you're only in it for the money or to win titles, above everything else, you must be looking to have a good time. Switch back flip. Just switch on the flip. Subscribe now to our YouTube channel for the very best of Transworld Sports.